Hey guys, it's Susan, and you're in my kitchen for another episode of How To Does This Really Work? And I read that when you need to clean a coffee pot, Yes, of course, you can buy the special coffee pot cleaners, or you can do the whole vinegar and water solution. But I also read you can use something as simple as Alka-Seltzer to clean your coffee pot. So I want to see, does this really work? First, let me set my phone down because what you're supposed to do is, one, fill the reservoir up like you normally would with water. I'm putting in like the whole 12 cups. I don't know if you can see all that going in, but it's going in. Okay, oops, I think I had a little more than 12. Then you're supposed to drop in three Alka Seltzers. Of course, they come two to a pack, but uh, let me put this down just for a minute. Hang on, I'll flip this around <laughs> if I can. Maybe not. Sorry, I'm gonna set this down for a second so I can rip these open because I wasn't thinking about that. Oop, this one's broken. And I just need one out of this pack. So, in a pinch, this is what it says it works. After you fill the reservoir, you drop in the Alka Seltzer. There's one, there's two. Oop, can I get the third one out? Hang on. I can't get the third one out of the pack. There we go. Three. You're supposed to let wait until it stops fizzing, and then you can run it like a complete cycle. So hang on, we'll see, does this work in a minute? Well, as you can see, it stopped fizzing, so what you have to do is just close it and run it for a full cycle. Got it on. Once it heats up and it starts, then we'll come back. Well, it stopped fizzing. I turned it on for a full cycle. It's now heating up and it's starting now to come through little by little. So we'll find out after it fills, then you have to put a whole new pitcher of water in, which what I did is I pre-filled pre this decanter and I put the water in here, so then we'll put the water in here once it's done to speed the process up. Well, um, it pretty much quit pouring the water, but as you can tell, my coffee pot is making awful gurgling noises. But the one thing I did notice, can you see the sediment in the bottom of this? Yeah, there's a lot in there. So I'm thinking that this pretty much does work. I'm gonna dump this out. Ooh, look at that. Can you see it in there? I don't know if you can. There's a lot of sediment coming out. So I'm thinking this does work pretty well. So I'm gonna put this back over here. I know this is still kind of steaming, but for timekeeping's sake, I'm still just gonna pour the water in. This is exactly 12 cups in here. I just poured it earlier, so I wouldn't have to waste a lot of time. And we'll just run. It said that's all you had to do is put the three in, let it run a full cycle with that, and then run a clear cycle of just plain water. And you're to be good to go with your coffee pot. I'm looking here. And it's slowly filling. It's not making as awful noises as it was before, gurgling and groaning. I mean, obviously it was when it was done filling, but it's actually really quiet. So my thought to you is, yeah, does this work? It does. Simple thing is Alka-Seltzer works for a coffee pot. Who knew?